Hey everybody and welcome back. So uh, it's raining and crummy outside again. Um, I don't know what is going on with Virginia, but it's just been raining so much all year that it's very hard to get out and fish. And it's been like freezing rain, crazy, just craziness for the past couple days. It actually stopped raining for a little bit yesterday and I went down to my little pond and cast it around for, I don't know, maybe less than 10 minutes and I had icicles on my line. That's how cold it is out here. So, um, not getting out to fish much, but um, I am taking advantage of some holiday sales, and so I just got a box in, and um, I wanted to show you, show it to you. Um, unfortunately, one of my other things that I ordered um, was um, some cards from Vista Print, and for some reason they decided to send those to my old address in Colorado, so I um, had to call them and get that fixed, so they would send them back here. Um, so yeah, welcome to the holidays of ordering and shipping. And um, the other thing I love about holiday um, shipping while we're talking about it is you get boxes, it seems like, like this, where it shows up and it's got a big giant hole in it. And they put these little stickers on it that says, received in damaged condition, but nobody puts their initials on it to tell you who did it. So there's this nice big gaping hole in my box. And there's fishing lures in here. And fishing lures that could easily, if I reach in here, check this out, could fall right out. So, uh, yeah, I wasn't really too happy about that. I was a little worried about my shipment. And um, fortunately, everything ended up being in there. But I kind of wanted to show you that. So, uh, yeah, uh, welcome to the, the um, holidays of shipping and watching how they love to destroy your boxes. I'm sure you guys have had boxes show up that are just utterly crushed. And if you're wondering why that is, I will tell you why. When I was younger, I actually worked for UPS for a summer. And... They have these conveyor belts that run around in the, in the warehouses and then guys push and pull packages to whatever zip code they got to go to. And what happens is, is when those conveyor belts get stuck and jam, excuse me, jammed up, somebody's got to run down the conveyor belt and undo those things. Well, a guy like me that understands that these are people's packages, things they paid for, takes the time to undo them right and not kick them and stomp on them and everything and make sure they get unmashed. But other guys that work there will just run down there and they literally start kicking and smashing and crushing and don't care. And they just, that's um, UPS, FedEx, any of these big warehouses, boxes will get crushed. And they just, you know, they got people in there that are working for, you know, 10 bucks an hour and they just don't care. They just don't care about your stuff. And um, it's a shame, but that's how the shipping industry works. And that's how it is. And hopefully some of your stuff goes through there. But yeah, I love, it seems like on the holidays, when the holidays come, that's why I get damaged packages. Usually the rest of the time, once in a blue moon I might get one, but most of the time it's not bad. But in the holidays, I mean, I always end up with stuff that looks like this for some reason. Um, don't know why, but um, I don't know why they can't manage to, to handle that. And then to not take responsibility for it and just put little stickers on it is, is kind of crazy. But um, that's here and there. So um, talking about taking advantage of the holiday specials that are going on. Um, so uh, I jumped on and took advantage of some of the Carl's Bait and Tackle stuff. They had that free membership offer and you get all the discounts and so I jumped on that and ordered a couple things that I wanted to get and um, you know I don't know if I'll stay with it I probably won't but I'm gonna take advantage of it for the next 30 days while I can and and get as much stuff as I can cheap so that's my plan so one of the first things I got out of there was uh, some grippers um, these are the six inch ones um, Rapalas I have the bigger ones and this is my second set of the little ones these are actually gonna go on my kayaks. Um, I'm going to keep the bigger set probably on my boat. And yeah, you can't go wrong. You can always use a set of grippers because even though I fish for bass, um, I tend to catch catfish. And sometimes you hook into a northern pike or a muskie or a pickerel or something with teeth. And um, I tend to not like to grab a hold of those guys. So the grippers come in handy. Or if you end up with a really big fish, it's an easier way to hold on to them is grabbing a hold of grippers. Um, good thing to have. They're not expensive. I mean, these things are... I think when they're full price, they're, these guys are about 10 bucks or something. Um, but I got them for discounted for like, I think they were $5 or something. So couldn't go wrong with that. Um, and then, of course, um, Carl's um, Bait and Tackle is Mystery Tackle Box. And um, I get a Mystery Tackle Box every year. Love Mystery Tackle Box. Um, awesome. If you guys aren't getting those, you should subscribe and get one. I get the Pro Box. It's $25.99. And I love it, and I will keep on getting those probably forever. But I did get an MTB shirt. Um, you guys can see MTB. Um, been wanting to get one of those for a while, and because they're so cheap right now on sale, I got one. Um, yeah, if they'd had some cool hoodies, I'd gotten a hoodie too. But 
they didn't have the hoodies. They they they're like having holiday specials and they don't have anything. Kind of sucks. But um, the other thing I ended up getting was a uh, a bunch of these uh, they're uh, the Catchco Death Stalkers, and um, I got them in a bunch of different colors. So uh, I ordered six of them, and uh, the main colors that I got are I've got the um I have to look see what the colors are so this one is the gold tiger so it's a uh, silver and gold um, with like a tire stripe and a little spin on it right there and then I got the this one is the um, aqua fish um, this one's got a little like bronze and then aqua and then silver on it and then I got a straight shad type one which is called the classic and um so I actually those are the three colors I got but I bought six of them I bought two of each so a nice pile of lures um, and they were super cheap um, yeah they're normally like almost six bucks a pop and I got them for like half price but that's a uh, just show you different colors that's what they look like and uh, these things are great for fall fishing um, great for catching crappie and bass and you'll even catch walleye and northern pike and even muskies will probably hit these things but um there's several different ways you can fish these um you can actually reel them in or you can reel and jig or you can slowly just jig them um you can try multiple different presentations and yeah um i'm really excited to get these and the reason why i ended up getting these is because uh um shout out to cornell from youtube fishing videos um i've been watching him fish a lot and i follow his channel and uh he freaking uses them and crushes fish on them and I've watched him enough to see him use those in the fall and stuff that they work really good and I wanted to try some and so I just decided to pull the trigger because it was holidays so yeah that's my nifty little uh, quick bag um, see if we can do a poker hand here let's do a poker hand of of lures here let's see if we can make this happen the poker hand I don't know if I can get them all in there we're gonna do my best oh yeah Poker handle lures. So yeah, pretty sweet deal. Um, figure uh, I got all these. I mean, this is six lures for eighteen bucks, and I think my whole total, if I look on here, what I ordered from the shirt to to everything, it does not have the price on here. It just says order and, and pulling stuff. So. Um, the shirt ended up being like less than 10 bucks and so 10 15 I think I spent $35 maybe um, on it all and it had free shipping too so yeah um, very cool so if you guys haven't done it I mean you really should go check out mystery tackle box and they have three different types of boxes you can get the basic the pro or the um, what's the other one the uh, pro tournament one and uh, I think that's what it's called. Or, you know, you can get all three, whatever you want to do. But um, I like the Pro Box. It's a good, good box. And you should definitely check out Mystery Tackle Box. And you should definitely get on that and do that. And you also check out Carl's Bait and Tackle because um, they got some really cool stuff there. They run some pretty cool deals. There's always discounts and stuff. And like I said, right now they're doing a 30 day free membership. So if you don't take advantage of that and get you a bunch of discounted lures right now, I was like, yeah, you're kind of stupid for not because it's. Uh, pretty no-brainer to me and now's the time during the holidays is to stock up on all your gear and save a bunch of money I mean I've, I've gone out I went and did some Black Friday stuff and picked up new rod new reel some other things and um yeah I've been um, crushing it with the holiday sa savings so pretty excited got a lot of new stuff to fish so anyway that's it just wanted to give you guys a little quick uh, show of what I picked up from Carl's Bait and Tackle and um if you guys haven't checked it out you should go check it out and um, do me a favor and Hit that like and subscribe button there. Hit that ding dong button so you get my notifications. Hit that share button and share these videos. And do yourself a favor. Get out there. Get your lines wet. And catch some fish.